And yep. the first thing you note is the midway has been switched out for Hakuri. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Not so surprising after the last match. He did get some good strikes in, but there was also a lot of strikes that had way higher damage potential, like the two yep. strikes on the Montana, for example. Yeah, a lot of... And like burning a lot of the strike as well, trying to hit the Wooster. So yeah. going back to the comfort, what he's comfortable playing, which makes sense. I mean, I have to say su surprising, especially because we know he's a very, very good carrier. That, the reason why we're being so surprised is because we know he's a very, very good carrier player. So watching him basically with Torps on a Montana that has no defensive AA cover or no fighter cover um, is very surprising. Right, let's get Ritual Suicide off with and then we can discuss something that's very important and that is yep. neither team has a Stalingrad. This yes. might be the first time in the entire King of the Sea that neither team brings a single Stalingrad. What just happened? Was it the midways that scared them away? Because both times we saw midways getting wrecking those things. Mm -hmm. What we do see on the other hand is double DD Double Minotaur, double Wooster from Omni. So double if, Yamato as well. Yeah. And that's that's a decision. That's that's not something you see a lot. Usually one Yamato is the, the upper limit because you can't really have both your battleships be these very immobile firing platforms. But obviously Omni has an idea with it. Yeah, but you got to remember though that uh, if they do bring Yamatos against the midway, that puts a lot of pressure on both the Omni carrier and the rest of the team to protect them from those strikes. Mm -hmm. Because yep. unlike the Montana, I'm pretty sure Yamato does eat quite a bit of... Doesn't he eat quite a bit of AP damage? I'm not gonna... I think it's only the German battleships that can get re mega wrecked with oh. uh, the AP bombers. It's possible. I I'm not entirely certain. It's still a decision to bring a battleship without basically any personal AA though. Which means mm. that at least the torpedo strikes, but then again, Yamato torpedo belt. We'll see. On the other hand, 07 brings double Wooster, double Henry, Hinden, Gearing, double Montana. Uh, Henry plus Hinden, extremely good, of course, at dealing with uh, any Stalingrads, but Omni didn't bring any Stalingrads. <laughs> mm. So we're seeing a pretty much an even split. I mean, the, it, this is the most even split you can see from Omni, except the gearing and the Harugumo not being mirrored. But Wooster, Minotaur, Harugumo, Yamato going A, with Minotaur, Wooster, gearing, Yamato going C. So even split between the two fringe caps from Omni. Indeed. On the other hand, 07 is sending Gearing plus Wooster towards A. We assume he's gonna smoke it up, and even the Hinden might be joining in the smoke later on, and they're gonna have that really nasty comp. Triple, or double HA spam from smoke, plus Montana support and Gearing Torps and scouting. On the other side, we got Wooster pushing close up to the island, quite aggressively in fact. And we got the Henry going wide, both Henry's going quite wide, but they're playing very safe around C, not really taking any chances. I mean, they can't afford to. No. If Twice they've been they've been pretty much humbled by uh, 07. Yeah, I mean this both teams are. I mean this is the this is a long series. This is mm -hmm. the fifth and deciding map. Two two. They've been trading punches. They're beaten. They're blooded. They know what the enemy can do. They know what they can do. Now it comes down to who will prove to be the most resilient. Yep. And is there a strike coming in on two Capuri from the midway? Defensive, it looks like defensive this. Air? Yeah. I kind of think so. Yeah, Gearing, I'm pretty sure Gearing popped it. It looked like um, 07 got a really good spawn for that uh, Wooster, getting him in that position that early. Fighter trailing these AP bombers. And there's a torpedo squad going through. I wonder what they're going for. Those look like full Big ones. chunks. Uh, the Harugamo of Eldaka, which is El Dorazo, I would assume. Yeah. Just ate a Gearing Torp. Torp. Yeah, I can see one is 12, missing. 12,000 health left. Ooh, he ate it on the middle that... of the ship then. He ate it on the middle. There's Torps coming back in, but the Wooster is running Hydro. So this should not be an issue. And there's a nice Kurfur side gap for him to fit in between. Oh, Harugamo is spotted. Harugamo oh, is boy. spotted. The Wooster has to angle because of the Torps though, so he can't bring all his guns, but the Montana can bring his guns to bear, and Harugumo is so oh, vulnerable. Oh, that's a good hit! Oh no, it's... Uh, no, no. It, I thought he got taken down to 1100, but it's 11,000, so Okay. That, oh. <laughs> oh boy. Omni does secure the A-cap though, which is yeah. the important fact. And, oh, 07 is the Wooster. What is going on with the Wooster? The Wooster is really being brutalized here behind this island. He's pushing up without a smoke! This is so dangerous! 
This is so dangerous, especially since the Henrys are playing quite safe in the back. They're afraid of... I mean, are they going to be able to build it at Wooster? Uh, currently unspotted, but it doesn't take a lot to spot the Wooster. Yeah, well, I guess the gearing... I mean, the decision-making that both teams are facing right now, being that the series is so close and this is the decider, all the decisions they're making, they're thinking a bit extra. Is this really what I want to do? You know, there's a lot more pressure on them now. Wow, so much spam of William the Dank. That's that smoked up Wooster Minotaur. And what else is joining them there? There's a lot of spam coming in on this guy. Ultimately though, no real devastating damage and A does get flipped right back into O7's hands. The thing is though, O7 has lost so much health on this Wooster. I, I question this position, I'm still questioning it. Every time a plane spotting comes in, he gets chunked. And this is no Minotaur that can kind of shrug it off and heal it. He's, he's permanently going to be low HP now. But yeah, and I think the, the biggest problem is that Ooh. they can't really disengage him easily. They're trying right yeah, now, but he's it's running away. dangerous. I oh, it's Blindfire. I thought they were actually shooting at him. But oh no, he's been spotted. He, um, those first two few salvos were Blindfire. Now okay. we were spotted, so here's the Yamato salvo. Oh, and it's a full pen. At least one of them, maybe more. He's down to 3k health. They got a fire on him. Oh, he's got the heal. fire from the second Yamato. Oh, it's oh, short. So close. Just short. He does pop the repair. And he does pop his heal, so he's back up to 4.5k. And is he undetected? No, there's shells coming in. He's dodging, he he's dodging. He was briefly spotted again, but he's undetected now. He gets away, and more importantly, while that Wooster was amusingly tanking for 07, the reversing Henry actually managed to clutch the C camp. Because they were so focused on the Wooster that the Henry got away with it. Farah so sacrificing planes to spot him again. There's another Yamato salvo in the air. Oh, oh, oh. It could be a kill. It could be a kill. He's dodging. <laughs> oh, the dispersion! The blessed dispersion! Are you for real? Not a single hit! The blessed RNG right there! Holy crap, he gets but away with- But the second Yamato lobs it over the island! Uh oh, 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 oh! Is that it though? No, oh. it's short! It's short! He's still alive! Invader Zim! Using those Martian powers to stay alive, I don't believe it. <laughs> He's still alive and the planes are being shredded, so he will no longer be detected. There's another Yamato AP salvo though. Oh boy. But he is dodging out, it's so far away. And meanwhile, while this drama has been going on, 140 point lead for 07. Yep. Oh my. Omni's been focusing on the killing, meanwhile 07 has just been wrecking in the points, and now they're putting the gearing into B as well. Yeah. Tika Pure is gonna try to, to cap C though. And he's even smoking himself up. He knows that the Wooster is pu pushed off, so he's gonna smoke up and just safe cap it. That's actually a very smart choice, because he yeah. knows that there's no, no nothing that can actually touch him, so they will guarantee to get C, and the Haragumo is reversing oh. into A as well. And there's a carrier drop on the gearing. Was that a hit with the Torp? Uh, looked like a Torp. Or that something else? Might have been a Torp on the nose? No, that's too little oh, damage. Maybe. Is it for a carrier Torp? I think so. I think it's... I'm not entirely certain. Must have been AP from something. It's, it's a small chunk, but it delays B, and C does get flipped, as we predicted. Invader Sim has healed up to 11k. Yeah. A is also being flipped by Omni. They yeah. reversed in a Minotaur to deal with it. See, see, that's the downside. They're playing around the fact that they have this single gearing again. And yeah. the gearing smoke ran out. Wooster can no longer sit next to the cap. Gear, they see the gearing moving here, they easily cap A, and there's nothing that can stop them. So these both these caps have been after they know exactly... They, they use the advanced scouting. They know where the boosters are, they know where the gearing is. They use the advanced scouting to use the double DD to play around them. And they flip both caps. AP coming in on the Montana. No significant damage. No damage by the looks of it. And the gearing always oh, get contested. That's yeah, the Harugamo was, has been in there the entire time. Oh, it was the Minotaur that capped A. Oh. Yes. And how what exactly is gonna do about this when all their radars are so far back? He can't. And ultimately, the planes, eventually he will get spotted because uh, they have Hakuri versus Midway, which means the AA control will be in the Hakuri's favor. And there he goes, forces the smoke, throws in a bomber just to spot him, forces the smoke. Actually gets some HE hits on him as well. And at this point... Mato AP out on the broadside at Henri from uh, 07. Yeah, I see it. Dodge. Um, that this that's something that I do even to this day. I mismanage the uh, 
the lead on French cruisers because they're yeah. so fast. You're always gonna pay attention to the dark smoke. If you see the black smoke, it's speed boost. Yeah. If not, then there's just normal speed, and it makes such a big difference on where to aim on those things. Still, though, if this, I mean, does the gearing understand that the enemy DD will more than happily just sit in the cap? Oh, I'm surprised. Well, the tank might eat Minotaur torps here. Are they spotted? They are spotted now. Yeah. It's He's... gonna be two on the nose, right? Two on the nose, and. Oh, they were just about to run out as well! Oh, and that's no. a damage code forced. Are, will there be a Wooster to capitalize on this? Flat deck, on the other hand, caught quite quite vulnerable here. They're just charging in. The Wooster is opening up, but... Oh, AP Bomber's on the, on the Minotaur. He's chunked to half HP. Once again, another strike gets in. The Minotaur is reversing out full broadside. Is, is he sure about this? I mean, Wooster AP. Can he needed, them. he ran into the island, so he needed to reposition. Oh, there's AP coming in on him! Oh, oh, oh Jesus, that Hindenburg AP! Oh boy. He's down to 13k health, and there's more AP coming in. Can he get out? He's angled enough that it won't be Citadels anymore, yeah, but, but it will still do damage. Now. Oh Jesus, he's so low. He's struggling so hard. Where's the carrier support? The fighters are finally coming in. The but he can't move damage. too far up either, because then the Montana has him with AP. Yeah, oh no, he's, he's stuck. They're gonna, they want that. He's used his heal as well. There's a that drop is going. Those torps are going to miss, but there's more AP coming in. He's angling Gets the towards the smoke it. off, but I mean the Worcester is close enough to Hydra almost soon, right? Yeah, he is now. He's spotted again. He is spotted again. Oh That's no! Gotta be Meanwhile, the potato, then. the gearing has been chunked extremely low for 07, so they might be. Mm. Will they maybe? No, they won't get to trade. They're going to lose that Minotaur. There's no way he can get out. They shouldn't allow him to get out. AP just coming in non-stop, nailing him, oh, and there's there the kill. 07 draw first blood, killing off one of the Minotaurs, but they have an extremely low Wooster, an extremely low gearing, and Omni has flipped C, and it looks like they will flip B before they can get in and contest. Still, that means 80 point, 90 point lead as of now for the American team. Where's that gearing from uh, 07 right now? Because there's a lot of torps coming in on his old smoke. Oh no, he's nowhere near that. He's he's sailing towards C. In fact, they're trying to cap it with Henry, but I think there's yeah. gearing plus Wooster there. There's only the Wooster and the Minotaur right there. Oh, but right that's now. still too much for him to one one versus one. Even the carrier is there harassing him. He's just buying points. There's the torps. They are spotted. And the Wooster. Oh, the Wooster is pushing in. That Taruguma. Is he aware? That Wooster is undetected. That Taruguma is going to get radar. Oh, th this might be a horrible situation for that Taruguma. He has no idea. Is he paying attention to the cap? The Yamato is Haruguma is no longer there. The, what's in B right now is Teacup Yuri in the full health gearing. Okay, well, that, has been that gearing is north. about to get spotted. There's the radar. Radar is up. Where is the punish? He's, he, was, he was reversed in, so he can run away. Henry HE comes in. What about the battleship AP? The Torps forced the battleship to turn away. So he has to fire from extreme range. What about the other side? Bit of HE chunks. That's a good HE chunk from the yeah, other. There's the battleship AP from two sides. Oh boy! Oh, oh boy. boy! 9k! More HE coming it's in! It's not over! 7k! They keep him spotted! He's still detected! Because that booster got so close before he popped that radar, so it takes so long for the gearing to get out. Oh, he's down there's to 6 There's another battleship AP salvo, then that's, that could be very well be it for him. He gets undetected, but I saw the Montana oh. shoot. I saw HE come in as well. The salvo's in the air. He gets set on fire, so he might be spotted again. No, he's undetected. Ho, ho, ho. That AP just bracketed him. All meanwhile, no meanwhile, way. Furlife, who tried to take on the Minotaur and Wooster alone, he's being oh, wrecked. Boy. He's being absolutely Jesus. wrecked. And he has to dodge the tour planes, but oh my, they can secure the skill, absolutely. They should like hunt him down. He got undetected. The planes got shut down, I think. Oh, he's so 5.4k like health. 5.4k health. But here comes Farah. Farah sending in the fighter squad, rushing the down there. Wooster on the uh, the Wooster McNutted up north is about to die as well. Oh, he's getting chunked he's as getting well. He's getting spammed by the Harugamo and the Wooster. Yeah, he's dead. There's no way he can survive. That's too much HE pressure. He is unspotted, so if he can survive the... He's got uh, 1k health. Fur life is healing on the other side. 900 health now. on McNutted. 900 health on McNutted. Oh yeah, my god. There is no way. This is long range, but still like... 900 health. There's no way. They will yeah, take it down. Is. And Omni punch back. But there's torps going into that smoke. No, they will not hit anything. The Wooster is spotted by the Henry. Will the Henry be AP? coming in on the Yamato, though. 
And there is AP coming in on the Wooster. The Wooster is caught full broadside. Does he realize? Oh! Massive chunk! Jesus. Massive chunk from the battleship! And there comes the Henry AP! Another oh. chunk on him! Oh my god, and a carrier drop on the Yamato! Where's the strafe? Where's the strafe? Can he bait out the strafe? There is no strafe, he's just locking them up! It's too late! It's a huge drop on the Omni Carrier! Oh, sorry, on the Omni Yamato! And a massive chunk, he's down to 30k! <laughs> Holy crap, 650 to 600! And yeah, that booster that is so low! Hits? It's pretty much guaranteed that he flooded, so he's gonna be get... Invader Zim is on fire! Up. That smoked up position is so nasty, because they can shoot Invader Zim from there. He is caught in a crossfire. Oh Omni <laughs> will secure the kill on this booster. There's nothing he can do. They're really trading blows. 686... 620 to 660. <laughs> Omni finally take the lead. Even when they're down a cap, they actually manage to clutch the lead. But what about this Yamato? This Yamato who probably blew his damage con as well. He is stuck in the open now. He is oh set on fire. Oh my god, the booster from XTHD is being spammed blind. Oh no, so th low. this Yamato is absolutely gonna go down. Can he trade yeah. on the Montana though? Can he overmatch the nose and get some big chunks in before he goes down? 7.5... 7k health. He needs it. Oh, there's the volley. Where's the damage? Oh, it bounces off the belt! He goes for the belt armor and only bounces. William the Dank angles. Oh no, that was... that was his chance to trade. Or will at least get some trade... trade damage in. Meanwhile, the Omni Wooster is farming William the Dank. The Minotaur and Wooster are farming him, but they are down 100 points at this point. 100 point deficit. The gearing is low, but they have a lot of high health ships left. 257k health to 230 30k health advantage. William the Dank is in huge trouble though. Wooster gets spotted briefly, the Omni Wooster and some Hindenburg HE. Not gonna be a big deal, but this Montana, can he disengage? Can he oh, do this? If they're not careful now... Yamato AP! They... We're at? No significant damage on the Montana. Where's the Torps? Oh. 07 is pushing as basically a blob. They're trying to push up to William the Dank. They're all scrambling to keep him alive. They know they need him to keep him alive to keep the points lead. But the gearing, the gearing has snuck, no, Harugumo has snuck around to cap A. There's, there's no radar to spot him either. And William the Dank is spotted by the DD and they will keep farming him. Now the Wooster joins him. If he too him. much, he's gonna go right into these torps. And it looks like one of them is heading right for his oh, turn right now. Oh, he's absolutely oh gonna boy. hit one. They are going to oh trade. Boy. They will get him. But there's the AP out. AP out on the Wooster. Montana IP, but he angles and he dodges it. 734. Oh. The American team still has a 20 point lead, but Haruguma will flip A. And it's 200. And then he needs to run because he cannot die. 216 to 203k. It's a 10k health difference. Oh my lord. But they still have both their DDs alive. Omni still has the DDs alive. And they're using it to also contest B at the same time. The scores are tied. 742 to 742. Holy shit. <laughs> I can't take this. Man. The, the carrier comes in to deny the spotting. They're trying to get vision of that. Oh, they do get vision. Will they get shots off? No significant hits. Only the HE from the Hindenburg will come in. And there's there AP is... coming in. AP coming in on the broadside Hindenburg. He barely There's potential dodges. potential massive torpedoes hitting the 07 Montana in B if he pushed up past that little island. Oh, he is pushing he, past it. He is pushing okay, past so it. Where are they coming? I think uh, right for him right now. He should be spotted oh, any there's, second. Oh, it's one he's going to catch him right on the... Is it nose? Yes, he takes it on the nose. That's a flooding. Oh, the midway. the midway AP bombs. It de deletes the gearing. They lose the gearing. Oh. But this Montana has to blow his damage gone. And he has to blow it right in front of the Wooster. And they kill the Henry in return. It's trades again. But they traded with the, the, the blind shot on the Wooster. The Wooster dies in the smoke. So those two traded evenly. And A and B is being flipped. The American team has a 50 point lead at this point. A 50 point lead. But the Montana has blown his damage. Con but only the Minotaur remains. Yeah, and there's blind fire coming it's in. It's so significant that they killed that Wooster with the Oh, and fire. huge hits into the smoke. Fantastic blind fire from the American battleship. Oh my lord, Haruguma is trying to trade with the Henry, but he's being hunted. Look, they're quarreling him into the corner. And the gearing is alive with 1.2k, oh, sorry, 1.4k health. Can they get the Montana? No, the Montana parks behind the island. 770 to 730. It's a 5 it's so versus close. 5. 5 versus 5, 1 minute remaining. The yeah. next kill can decide 65 it. seconds. They Minotaur! Huge Citadel on Minotaur, but he gets behind the island at the last moment. They don't secure the kill, they just get chunk damage on him. But it's still a lead for the American team, 40 points ahead. The Wooster is trying to convert something on this Henry, but the Henry just turns away. 
Oh no, and Hindenburg is chasing There's this Aragoma. He's chasing. 35 seconds left. 35 seconds. A, but only two caps generating points. The Minotaur is still spotted. But even the Hakuryu is charging into the cap. Yeah. The Midway is charging into A, the Hakuryu is charging into B. They're throwing everything at it. They're throwing the kitchen sink at this. They need to get a kill from somewhere. The Minotaur is too low. The only thing to that they up. can do is uh, bow pen the Henri, but I don't think the Yamato can get into position. Where's the plane spotting? Enough. There's no plane spotting to kill the low HP ships. There is nothing to stop 07. There is oh. nothing to stop the American Boy. team. Holy shit, I do not that... believe it. We are going to have an American number one seed clinching the win in... That <laughs> is fantastic. What a goddamn Whoa. final. Holy shit. Three to two in the final game. It was down to a five versus five, but it was enough. It was more than enough for 07 to clinch the victory. <sighs> Holy crap. That match, make, I, usually you can clearly tell like, oh, this team has the advantage now. That team has the advantage. No, no. <laughs> this was so back and forth and it was all over the map. It was like, uh, fantastic. Absolutely great. Absolutely amazing. I mean, wow. 07 takes it. They clinched the third map and holy crap. <laughs> wow. I, I, I don't believe it. We, they actually win. They take down the number one seed. And I think this is like the first time ever that NA has in any server clash won the first seed game. Mm -hmm. I think it's the only time. Holy crap. Oof, congratulations, <sighs> 07. Very well deserved. And making the midway midway work. Yeah, that's that's like the big thing. They They made a very... Well, on EU, highly underrated, I would say. Well, I don't know, underrated, but a uh, pick that has seen really no success on EU. Very little in Reign's hands, but even then it's always been questionable. They mm -hmm. they embraced it, and they made it work, and they clutched the final 3-2. to two. Holy shit.